viewers and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's class, we will be making a quiz app in MIT App Inventor. It will be a fun app and we will be guessing movies in this app. Let's go to projects and start a new project. Name it movie quiz. No spaces in the name. We will be making the menu screen with one button on it and a cool background. The button will be for starting the quiz. Okay. So first we will need to make our background a nice color. We can actually choose the color from here or we can custom it. So I will be choosing somewhat a teal color, bluish green color, okay. After the color change, I want that a line horizontal is center, a line vertical is center so that anything I place inside the screen comes in the exact center. I will change the title to movie quiz. So going down instead of screen one, I will type movie quiz and I need an image. So going to the user interface, I will just drag and drop the image onto the screen and I also need a button. So I will just go to the user interface and drag and drop a button here too. And I'm going to make the image size height will be 70%. Okay. And the width will be fill parent. Now I need to have an image, the actual image. I will go to media and upload a file choose a file. I already got this, this collage of movie pictures. So I will use that. You cannot see it right now because I have to set the image, this image that I had dragged and dropped here, make it source that picture that I recently uploaded. So see, it looks nice. Now coming to this button, I will make its font size 20, background color black, the height 10%, and width 40% and the shape is rounded and the text color on top of it will be yellow and I will change the text to start quiz. So this looks nice and another important thing is that I want this app to always open in portrait mode. Make sure that my screen one is selected and I will just go down and choose the screen orientation to be portrait. So we are done with our first screen and let's make our second screen. So just go to add screen and click on it and type quiz screen. Again, no white spaces. Okay. Another thing is that at any time you can check how your app is looking by connecting it through the AI companion to your iPhone or to your Android device. Okay. So this is our quiz screen and I want it to have the same color as my menu screen. So I'll just go and have a look at what my menu color was. So I can go to screen one, go to custom and I have this exact color here. So I'm just going to copy it and go back to my quiz screen, select it and make its background color also the same by going to custom and pasting the color that I had copied from my screen one. So this is the same now. Let's make its screen orientation also portrait. And now we need some arrangements for our quiz screen. So we're going to go to layout and drop three horizontal arrangements on it. This we will rename to result section. This is our question section. And this last arrangement is our answer section. Make all of them align horizontal center and align vertical center and all of them, the width should fill the parent. We will change the height a bit. The result section, the height is 10% and we will also make the color of the result section yellow. 
to make it a bit different from the background color. The question section, the background color will be black and the height will be 50%. Okay, makes sense because we want the movie image to show here, which the people, the end user has to guess that which movie scene is it. And the answer section, the height is 20%. We need a label inside the result section. Okay. So we're just going to go to user interface and we're going to drop a label here. Okay. Just rename it to result. Okay. And we are going to make it bold with font size 18. Okay. Make the result fill parent in terms of height and fill parent in terms of width. And the text alignment is in the center and change the text to name the movie. Now we need to add the image from the user interface, drag and drop it inside our question section because our question will be a movie image. User has to guess the name of the movie by looking at that image. Name it movie pick and let's upload a few images. So go to media and upload these images. I'm going to upload Life of Pi, Interstellar and Matrix. I have to do it one by one matrix first okay so i've uploaded three images and i have to do it one by one and i got them from uh, this collage website i will be sharing the link uh, in the video description so let's see how the image looks inside our app if i choose movie pay i can go to the picture and choose the source so i will choose life of pi it is not fitting very nicely i mean i can see only part of it so the solution to that problem is that by that click on movie pick and make the height fill parent and make the width fill parent. So now it has been automatically adjusted. So now let's work on our answer section where we will be providing a text box in which the user can enter the answer and then press a submit button and our app will check whether the answer is correct. And depending on that, it will show correct or wrong in the result area, okay? Drag a text box into our answer section and drag a button to submit button make this text box background white and make the font size 25 and make the width 70 percent okay submit button make the background color black font size 20 width 25 percent shape rounded text submit and text color yellow okay so this looks nice we did not add an arrangement here but we will be adding a button here and that will say next this is to show the next question okay let's just drag and drop a button here okay and you can see that it's not coming in the center so the way to fix it is that you go to quiz screen and make sure that it's aligned horizontal is in the center and a line vertical is also in the center. Okay. Let's rename these buttons too. In the answer section, this button is submit button. And in the end area, this button is the next button. Renaming is important because when we're coding in the block section, we need to know which button we are dealing with. Okay. Okay. And let's rename this text box to answer. Okay. And let's make the hint also answer okay another thing that you have to do is that give almost the same properties to the next button make its width 40 percent shape rounded background color black font size 20 and the text is next and the text color is yellow and let's work on the code now first we are going to work on the screen once code so go to the blocks very simple code for it when the start quiz button is clicked and we did not name it but um, actually there's just one button on it so it's okay with that but i would recommend that always name your buttons and components properly so when button one that is the start quiz button is clicked we want that the next screen is opened up okay so we are going to go to our control section and if we go down you will see open another screen this block so we just need this block 
and we are going to change screen one to quiz screen. So very simple code that is when the button is clicked, just open the quiz screen. Okay. Now let's go to our quiz screen, which is the most important screen. We will be using something new in this app called list as the name suggests. It is a way of storing information that is in, in the form of a list. We have questions here. So we want to make a list of those questions. Okay. So first we are going to create a global variable movie list. And instead of putting in a number here from math blocks or a text, we will be providing it with a list. So just go to list, get this make a list. Okay. And we can add as many items as we want. I want to have three questions in it. So I'm just going to drag this item from here and drop it here. And as you can see now I have three slots here. Okay. So inside this, I am going to put in the image file name. So just go to text and plug three text blocks here. I'm just going to duplicate it. And inside these text blocks, we want to provide our image file names. This is super important because if we make any typing error in writing down the name of the image file, the image will not be correctly loaded in the app. Okay. So coming down to the images that we used, just look at their name. Okay. And you will see that all the white spaces have been automatically removed by MIT App Inventor. The actual image files that I was using had white spaces in their name and MIT App Inventor, when it uploaded them into its system, it removed the white space. So you have to use them in this form. Life of Pi does not have any white space. So you have to write it exactly the same. So I'm just going to write down life of pi, making sure that I am writing it exactly the same with the file extension that is JPEG. Okay. The matrix. And then the last one is interstellar. Again, make sure that you have written it properly. Life of pi, compare it with here. Okay. This is important. Okay. Once you've done that, now we need to have an answer list. That is what is the correct answer when this picture is shown? So the correct answer is life of pi with spaces in them because that is the way an end user will type in. Okay. So I'm just going to duplicate it and I'm going to rename this global variable, the list variable to answer list. And I will write down the proper answers with the white spaces. Okay. Okay friends, we are done with the first part of our quiz app. In the next class, I will teach you the remaining part. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next class. Have a good day and goodbye.